What's going on guys, Nick here from Metalogic and today I want to walk you through how you can use Go High Level for all of your reputation management needs. So we'll go through how to create a text review request, an email review request, as well as the ways to send these requests via uh, workflow or doing it manually. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so to get started, what we would do is we would go into settings in the bottom left-hand corner here, go into integrations, and then you would link your Google My Business profile. So that way, when you send a text or email review request, they are brought to your Google My Business profile, and they can leave a review from there. So once you've done that, you would go essentially go back here and go into reputation, and then from here, once you already have linked your Google My Business, what would happen is these things would populate. So you would see um, if you do set up an, an invite goal, right? So how many review requests do you want to send? You, that is a personal goal of yours. Um, the other things you would see are review, reviews received. So how many reviews you have received total? The average rating. Um, are these raising po are these ratings positive or negative? And then you can see kind of the trends of both below here as well as just the latest review request you've sent, as well as the latest review itself. So once you've connected your Google My Business profile, these will automatically populate here. Um, and then let's go ahead and learn how to build your requests. So to do that, we'll go over here into requests. And obviously it'll say, oops, you don't have one yet. But what you can do is you can start by setting up your views here. So you'll click this link and you'll be brought to this reputation management page that is also in settings. So from here, what you can see is you can see review request behavior. So what that means is you can actually schedule a follow-up from your, your review requests, right? So you can either have it send once, so to send your review request immediately once, and that's it. You can kind of go, you know, if you want to send it once here, once there, you have to do that manually. Or what you would do is you would click this little option right here, follow a custom schedule. And as you can see, when you scroll down in SMS, you can see when do you want to send it and how many times do you want to repeatedly add, uh, repeatedly send these requests to the um, recipient, right? So you're going to do that for both text. You can do that for email as well. Um, and that is the two options here. So let's get started by building our SMS review request. So what you would do is you would add an image here. We recommend um, just 512 by 512 or 500 by 500. So we can go ahead, add image here. Let's look up logo. Okay, so we've added the logo to our review request. The reason we recommend doing this is just so the recipient knows that this is from a client or a company they've used in the past and just not someone trying to get them to click on the link and steal their information. Just more of a safety thing, more of a brand recognition thing that you should definitely add to your review requests. So next, we'll go ahead and build out our message. So Go High Level is great in the fact that you can use your custom fields and custom values in your messages itself, and then everything else will auto-populate, so that way you can kind of cater your message to every single contact and kind of make it personable. Only downside is they don't give it to you right here as they do on other features in the platform. So what you'd have to do is you have to just save your if you request so far, go into custom field, custom fields, custom values, look for what you want, and then kind of go back and forth. Or if you have a pre-curated list of the unique keys, you can kind of just copy and paste that into your messages. So just for this example, we'll go ahead and grab the first name key here, copy that, go back into our reputation management tab, and build out our message. So we have contact first name, thank you for using our service. And again, what's also really cool is they let you see what the message would look like on the right hand side here. So it would be, John, thank you for using our service. Here's the link um, below, right? So that would be the link that we would send and we auto generate up here. Um, since we did select the follow a custom schedule for review request option, you can go down here and then when to send your SMS after checkout. So essentially, in your pipelines, workflows, etc., or you can do it manually. I'll show you later in the video. You can move them from one stage to another and it's saying, hey, when you do that, um, how long do you want us to wait to send a review request, right? So let's say you are running a med spa, someone shows up for the appointment 
and in the workflow you say, hey, they've showed up. You can say, hey, um, wait an hour, two hours, however long the service will take before sending our review request. And then here you can have a follow-up system. So you can say every week, please send them a request until they have already completed a uh, review. So that is how you create a SMS review request. So let's go ahead and dive into the emails. And these are essentially the same. It's just like building out any regular email. You have your subject, your heading, your message, and then the positive answer is just what would go in this button here. So you can say submit, or you can say thank you for your submission, whatever you want you can put there. And then again, you can use your custom fields and custom values in any section here, and it will automatically populate. So um, let's go ahead and just do subject. Um, tell us how we did. Heading, please, or we can go custom values if you still have it. Please leave a review. And then we'll leave the message the same just for video's sake. And then you have the same thing you had here. You have the how long do you want to wait after check-in and how long do you want to repeat this step. Please remember to save each time. If you don't press save on each, it will not save and you have to go through over again and redo each step. And then we have down here the customized review widget. So Go High Level does allow you to copy this snippet of code and create a review widget on either your WordPress site, Wix site, um, wherever you can see fit, whatever platform you use. And also they have it on the Go High Level um, website service as well. So that's just a quick little thing here. We don't really use this. I don't think it looks the best in general, but that is how you create and you can showcase your, your review requests using Go High Level. Now let's go ahead and see the different ways in which you can send a review request to your customers. So real quick before we continue, I did wanted to show you what the testimonial role does look like if you decide to use it. It's just kind of pretty basic. You can change the colors of the row or this little section here in Go High Level. So you can see you can change the background, rating color, and title color here. But this is essentially what it would look like if you did decide to put it on your website. Again, I don't think it's the most aesthetically pleasing, but I did want to show you what that would look like. Let's go ahead and get back into the video. Before we get into creating an automation for your review requests, let me just show you the few ways I like to do them or the most common ways to do them. So the first one would be go into contacts yourself, select the contact you want to send a review request to, and then you can click this little button here that says send review requests. When you do this, you'll get hit with this pop-up, you'll click OK proceed, and then you have to select the two options of SMS or email. Let's go ahead and just select SMS for now, and then you can go ahead and either add all of your recipients at once, Add it is scheduled time, so you can go ahead and do start on a specific date and time, or you can add them in drip mode, which is saying only only send your review requests or a certain number to a certain amount each day. So what that means is I want to start it on, let's say I want to start it tomorrow at 12 p.m. Right, and I only want to send it. Say I have a, say I have a hundred. Um, Contact selected, I want to send 25 each day, and I want you to repeat this after, let's just say three, let's say four days. So after four days, you'll go through the 100, and you can repeat it over and over and over. You can also select the days that you want to send your view, your view requests on. So typically, people don't really want messages on their weekends, so you can go ahead and deselect Saturday, Sunday. Telling Go High Level, I only want to send my review requests Monday through Friday. And then, again, you don't really want your customers to be too unhappy with you when they get a review request. So you might not want to send it to them at 12 a.m. So what you would do is you would tell Go High Level, hey, send my review requests between 10 a.m. and let's just say 5 p.m., not a.m. So 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. is the times in which between you can send my review requests, you can send them between Monday and Friday, and you repeat the process after four days. And each time that you send a batch, it will be 25 each. That is how drip mode works. And then that is how the send review request manually works. What you could also do, and we'll get into this later, is you can add a tag to each of your um, clients here. So you can say, hey, add the tag. I want you to add the tag appointment showed, saying the appointment or the client has showed for their appointment. 
And then from there, they would be added into our workflow. The other way I like doing it is into opportunities. You can see here, I'm assuming when you have more clients, you will have a long list here, but you would create a pipeline, right? So this is a pipeline for a tree service company, but you can actually use this for just about any other service based business. So you can have, so you see here a lead fill out a form or they called, I spoke to them directly from these two. I either scheduled an estimate or a job and that estimate or proposal got rejected. They didn't respond and then the job was completed, right? So what we typically do or our clients typically do is they kind of follow along the stages. You can drag and drop each of them here or you can even drag them into one or lost or abandoned here. Uh, that will be a whole separate video if you want to see uh, more on that. Essentially, what as your client goes along the pipeline, you can drag them from stage to stage. So let's say I have them in job scheduled. I can essentially go in here, press job complete. I can mark this as one, and then from when I drag them from one stage to job complete, that will trigger the workflow saying, hey, the job was completed, please send them a review request. Again, the best way to get reviews is to ask either on the spot or when they're fresh in your memory. And obviously you want to ask, you want to send review requests to happy customers and not, not so unhappy customers. So um, be wary of when you do this, just so you don't know um, if they do, if they did not like your service, but this is a very good way to kind of automate the review request process. So now that you've seen the best three ways to do it or the three ways to do it manually, let's go ahead and automate the process itself. Okay, so now let's go ahead and automate the review process as best as we can. I just wanted to give you that as a pretense to this so that way this makes more sense. So what you would do is you go here into automation and click create workflow. And go ahead level actually already does give you a recipe to send review requests which isn't too bad, it's actually a great place to start. So we'll go ahead and use that for our workflow. So here we are in the automation that GoHead Level does give us for sending review requests. Let's go ahead and go through each of these triggers here. So we have opportunity marked as one. So if you remember in our pipeline stages, we can select the contact from whatever stage they're in. And on the bottom, it appears we have lost, abandoned, or one. If you do slide them into the one bucket, then this workflow will trigger. I showed you again the how to add a tag to each of your clients manually. I think that's the best way to add a or to send a review request or a SMS request to a client, right? So you can send them both at the same time instead of manually going and sending a review request via SMS or email one at a time for client. Um, or you can go ahead and in another workflow add a tag, which I think is actually a bit more tedious than adding a tag manually. We have appointment marked as showed. So if you do want to see how to use Go High Level as a replacement for Cal Calendly or just how the calendar system works in Go High Level, I'll link a uh, put a link in the description below for that video. Essentially, what would happen is in your calendar, if the appointment status is showed for a client, then this will that will trigger this workflow. And if you do have multiple calendars, as most sub accounts do, what you would do is add the add the filter in calendar, whatever calendar is found in the sub account. And then also to my personal favorite is pipeline stages change. So we'll add that one here by clicking add new workflow. Pipeline stage change, add the filter in pipeline. Again, this can be whatever pipeline you want. And then you would add another filter saying in pipeline stage, job completed, right? So again, as I went through, through each of your customer's journey, you can have fill out a lead form, estimate scheduled, job scheduled, job complete, however you want to set it up. Let's say we essentially schedule a job and then drag our contact from job scheduled to job completed. Then this that will trigger this workflow and they are sent a review request. So those are the best ways to send a review request manually and automated. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description below. Again, my name is Nick from Metalogic. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, see ya.